feminist activist, nationalist broadcaster and writer, Una Marson campaigned for women's rights and pan-Africanism working in Jamaica and Britain from the early to mid-20th century. She wrote columns, articles, manifestos, radio programs, poems and plays, edited and published journals, and she was the first black radio producer to be employed by the BBC. Marson was born in 1905 in the village of Sharon, Jamaica. She died in 1965 at the age of 60. After leaving school in Kingston, the capital of the island, Marson decided she would become a writer to fight for social justice and equality and to share her belief that culture should be accessible to all. In 1923, when she was only 18, she produced a play, Susan Proudley. It was an adaption of the best-selling novel by Herbert Delissa, a comedy drama picaresque about a working-class woman's struggle to make her way through patriarchal Jamaican society. At 21 years old, Marston became the first woman in Jamaica to be an editor and publisher, one of many firsts in her life. She co-founded the Cosmopolitan magazine. It was a monthly aimed at secretaries, who were mostly women, and the business youth of Jamaica. Marston was also a skillful poet, and she worked her activism into her poems at many different levels. Tropic Reveries in 1930 and Heights and Depths in 1931 were two volumes of poems with themes of love, nature, and Jamaica itself. In 1932, she produced her play At What a Price, staged at the Ward Theatre, Jamaica's most prestigious theatre. It picks up on themes of Susan Proudley by calling for equality for Jamaican women in society. Marston left Jamaica to work in Britain. The first time was in 1932, during the Global Great Depression. She lodged in Peckham in South London, at the home of her fellow countryman, Harold Moody. He was the pioneering doctor who founded the League of Coloured Peoples, a civil rights organisation that promoted racial equality and black rights in Britain, and anti-colonialism throughout the British Empire. The racism and sexism that she encountered in the UK transformed Martin's life and gave her activism a wider focus. She became editor of the League's influential magazine, The Keys, where she championed black feminism and she was a sought-after speaker for international women's rights. She also campaigned for pan-Africanism and independence from colonial rule, working with the many activists who were in 1930s Britain, such as Harold Moody, the Jamaican pan-African advocate Marcus Garvey, and the Emperor of Ethiopia, Haile Selassie. Marston was a major voice for establishing black theatre in Britain, where successful black actors and performers in the 1930s included cabaret superstar Leslie Hutch Hutchinson, at the time the highest paid star in the country, Evelyn Dove, who was the first black singer to feature on BBC Radio, and American singer and box office star Paul Robeson. Marston made her own powerful statement by staging a new version of her play, At What a Price, in 1933, with an all black cast that included herself and Harold Moody. Marston returned to Jamaica in 1936, where, as a journalist, she reported on the impact of the Great Depression. She was an eyewitness to the social unrest and labour revolts that created the political and trade union movements that laid the groundwork for Jamaica's independence. She worked with other pioneering women of Jamaica, such as Edna Manley, Gloria Escoffery and Amy Bailey, and she set up Jam Save, the Jamaica Save the Children charity. 1937 to 1938 was the peak of Marston's creativity. She published another volume of poetry, The Moth and the Star. Its poems are steel and velvet observations on Jamaican attitudes, particularly towards women, mirrored through her experiences of racism and sexism in London, which she picked up on in her 1945 collection, Towards the Stars. She also staged two plays, London Calling, a comedy, and Pocomania, a drama. Both of them sharply observed wake-up calls for equality for women. Marston is regarded as a major playwright of the 20th century, and Pocomania has been hailed as among the most important Caribbean plays ever written, credited with representing the birth of Jamaican national drama. Her plays, however, are rarely performed today. London Calling and Pocomania weren't published until 2016, 50 years after her death, and At What A Price remains unpublished. Marston returned to Britain in 1938 
on the eve of the Second World War and the Blitz. This time her journalist and activist skills were highly valued and she was asked to join the BBC World Service. She became the first black radio producer to be employed by the BBC. In 1941, she started work on the Calling the West Indies radio series and soon transformed it into Caribbean Voices, which showcased Caribbean arts and culture. As the producer and presenter of this hugely influential radio show broadcast throughout the West Indies, Marston worked alongside literary giants like B.S. Naipaul, who was from Trinidad, and the white writers T.S. Eliot and George Orwell. Una Marston's achievements and legacy are honoured today because of her commitment to social justice and her brilliance as a writer. In celebration of Marston as a playwright, with links to both Jamaica and Britain, Equal Stages Digital Theatre has recorded an excerpt from London Calling. Directed by Aisha Casely Hayford, the audio piece is performed by Anne Akinjarin as Rita, David Ajao as Alton and Prince Alota, Tunji Lucas as Sydney and Frank, and Kuntanai Chihuahua as the voice of the stage directions and the wireless. London Calling offers us a window into Marson's ideas on global black identity and gives us a lasting insight into the worldview of this groundbreaking pioneer and visionary.